Hey guys, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria and this is a remake video of my why I initially gained 60 pounds on a high carb vegan diet uh, because I accidentally deleted the first one and I was so upset because I had so many views and it was helping so many people but here's the latest and newest version. Um, so why did I initially gain 60 pounds on a high carb vegan diet? Well. I had metabolic damage and if you want to find more out about metabolic damage you can check out my video on it. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. Um, but what caused my body to um, become metabolically damaged or have a slow metabolism? Well, prior to adopting a high carb, low fat, plant based, calorie and nutrient sufficient vegan diet in March of 2012, I had done pretty much everything possible to destroy my health in an effort to lose weight. So I sacrificed my health um, to uh, attain a weight through um, inadequate diet and lifestyle factors. So uh, I'll list off exactly what I did. So back in 2012, I had, or 2006, I'm sorry, when during my first year of college, I had gained the freshman 15, and I was also struggling from uh, irritable bowel syndrome and gastroparesis, so a digestive disorder. And uh, in an effort to lose the freshman 15 and maybe manage my digestive disorder, I went on my first diet. And this included um, cutting my calories, opting for healthier foods, as well as increasing the amount of exercise I was doing. I also cut down on like alcohol, but I didn't cut it out completely. Um, and I started smoking more cigarettes. <laughs> Gross. Um, so I went from about 170 pounds to about 150 pounds within three to four months of following that protocol. And uh, after that, I got, um, I had a hard time keeping the weight off and I looked into other means in order to keep the weight off. So I cut my calories even more and I started exercising even more and I started taking laxatives and appetite suppressants and drinking a lot of alcohol and smoking a lot more cigarettes. And, um, and then I developed a purging and binging or bulimia where I would, I would restrict, 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 and then I'd go and uh, I wouldn't be able to do that anymore. I'd just eat whatever was around me. I'd feel guilty and make myself spew. Um, and I also took a bunch of laxatives. I was also on birth control at the time um, and was just pretty much doing everything possible that I could do in order to destroy my health because I thought, thought those are the things I needed to do in order to lose weight. I also, um, as time went on, I uh, got even better at dieting and I followed the Atkins diet and the South Beach diet and um, restricted my calories to 1200 a day and then and then I started uh, fasting and I got into raw foods and fasting I think in about 2010 uh, yeah and um, I, I was vegan at the time but I was never eating enough and um, and I was still in the kind of like purge or restrict binge cycle where I wouldn't eat anything all day I just take some appetite herbal appetite suppressants um, and then I'd end up uh, eating like lots of weird combinations of food at night like peanut butter and tomatoes and just weird stuff that made me physically ill and then I'd go and throw up and and that was kind of like what I did and I dropped from a hundred and 55, 160 pounds to 120 pounds, and I was basically suffering from anorexia by that point. That was about uh, during 2011. Um, my brain functioning was horrible. I had really dry hair and skin. Um, I had anxiety and depression. I was obsessed with keeping my weight down. And uh, one thing that motivated me was um, I'm 5'11, and I'd see these supermodels and they weigh like 120 pounds and they're my height I'm like oh well, how do they get there how do they do that so that was like my primary motivation I wasn't thinking about anything else so it was purely aesthetics which is what I know a lot of people are driven by um, when it comes to weight loss is just the aesthetics and that's the one thing that we shouldn't be focusing on we should really be focusing on our health if we want to have a healthy lean fit body and be able to maintain it for life so after I did all this bad stuff to my body, it finally came to me when uh, 
when I was in 2011 and I was basically suffering from anorexia, people had said some things to me but about it, um, like my husband, uh, but then other people were like, oh my God, you're so thin, like it's amazing, you're so healthy, and I was like loving it. Uh, well, uh, I it hit me towards the end of 2011 that uh, if I wanted to get pregnant or like have maintain relationships um, or be just a productive member of society because I was also wrapping up my master's degree in human nutrition at the time I was like I'm gonna have to do something differently because I really can't even function I'm not sleeping I have no energy to do anything the only thing that's keeping me going is the stimulants that I'm taking so I decided uh, to do some research I was like I'm smarter than this I can heal myself um, I was like, I just got this education. I need to like apply it. And then I found freely the banana girl on YouTube after searching like the fruit diet. Cause I was like, well, I'll ditch all this fasting and I'll like just be all raw, um, on a fruit diet. Like fruit won't make me fat. And then through that, I found freely the banana girl who, um, at the time had been on a high carb, low fat, uh, plant-based raw vegan diet for about two and a half years and she looked healthy and lean and I was like two and a half years what like I want results yesterday even though like I'm so underweight as it is um <laughs> I was such a sort of thinking especially compared to where my mind's at now but she was my primary motivation I was like well she's healthy like I want to be healthy and lean and fit and so it just registered with me like what she was saying and what she like looked like and everything it was like something that could be sustainable because that was what I was looking for so I ditched everything overnight and started eating um, about 25 to 3,000 calories a day 2,500 to 3,000 calories a day um, of at the time I was just all raw so it was just fruit um, and greens and within a month of that I my period came back and uh, my digestion, uh, my digestive functioning that was non-existent, uh, it started working for like the first time in a long time. I was able to go to the bathroom without using anything and I didn't have as much pain, um, specifically like gas and bloating. And so I was just feeling a lot better. Um, and then I started to get plump. Uh, but it was cool though, I put on about uh, 30 pounds within three months, my weight from about Weight went from about 120, 125 to about 155. And then after that, I put on another 30 pounds uh, within the next nine months. Uh, where, so my weight went from like 125 to about 185, like plus or minus five pounds from that uh, within the first year. So, but what happened during the first year was really cool, even though I was like so messed up in my head because I had gained all this weight and people were saying things to me and my grandmother was like, you got fat and some other guy at the place I worked at was like, oh, you got big or you filled out or whatever. And but I was actually feeling better. I finally had energy. I was finally sleeping like soundly. My menstrual period came back. I was able to digest my food. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of like physical energy. I was still working out at the time. I was working out before this lifestyle and I was working out during this lifestyle, but I uh, stuck to things like yoga and cycling and walking. I don't think I was doing too much jogging at the time uh, because my body just felt too heavy and that it needed to rest. And I was also working a pretty physical job at the time as well uh, in a produce department. So we had to, you know, carry a lot of heavy boxes and things like that but overall I just started to feel better and like my face was so sunken and withdrawn and I had the like circles under my eyes from adrenal fatigue uh, which is something else that happens when you cal chronically calorie restrict you're constantly um, stimulating your adrenals to produce cortisol because it thinks that there's like a serious problem going on and then you just burn out and that's where a lot of the chronic fatigue comes from and you have to recover from that so uh, fatigue is normal when you first come onto this lifestyle especially from a calorie or nutrient restrictive uh, diet because you have all of these organ systems um, that you need to heal and replenish so the weight gain was really just my body going from having nothing in it to um, needing a lot of energy and 
fat and fluid in order to dilute toxins within my body and to promote metabolic restoration um, as well as hormone balance um, and just healing in general. So weight gain is actually not something that you should shun. I mean, I know how hard it is and I know how, how big of a, a mind messer it is because you just we get conditioned in our society to think that thin equals healthy and it's not the case um, <clears throat> a lot of us have metabolic damage and that's the reason why we have excess weight on our body to begin with and we have to heal our body in order to re bring our um, body into the most optimal state of health and to promote metabolic efficiency, AKA high metabolism, and to promote excess body fat or weight loss, um, which weight is like fat, fluid, um, protein, things like that. Excess things that don't need to be in the body that show up as um, excess weight within our system. We need to be eating enough calories and nutrients on a daily basis in order to promote health um, and healing and a high metabolism and eliminate the toxins, pollution, fat, fluid that doesn't need to be within our body. So that's pretty much this video in a nutshell. Um, and then I stuck with a high carb, low fat, plant-based vegan, calorie nutrient sufficient diet for uh, three, three years. I, I've, it's um, been over three years now, but it took my body about two and a half years to gain the weight, plateau, and then to start to come down. So about the two and a half year point is when my weight started coming down and it started staying down permanently. But the whole process is slow because health is and healing can take a lot of time. It depends on the extent of damage you have in your body. Um, there are people that recover pretty quickly and it's because they stick to uh, a healthy diet, calorie and nutrient sufficient diet, and healthy lifestyle. The person I'm thinking of is uh, Sasha with Bryson Raw. She had results very quickly, but she also stuck to the program. She stuck to the diet. She let her body heal. She got over her herself. She got over the mind programming of thinking that like being overweight is unhealthy. Even though it's extremely hard to get through, she found like self-love through the process. And that's something that does happen is you have to get over yourself. You have to get over all the conditioning because what you if you are following a healthy diet, being a high carb, low fat, plant-based vegan diet that's sufficient in calories and nutrients and you're sleeping enough and you're drinking enough water and you're exercising and you're doing all the things you need to do to promote health in your body, nothing else matters. And that's what you need to keep your focus on throughout this process, throughout the weight gain, throughout the comments that people make, throughout comparing yourself to others, throughout anything else. If you are doing what your body needs to do to be healthy, you will get the results that you desire, AKA health, a lean fit body, and, and it's effortless. Because it is, but you have to be consistent and that requires hard work. It's, it's hard to stick to a healthy diet, especially with everybody else doing everything else, you know? That's not healthy, but you have to kind of shut it all out and just do it for yourself. Not for your husband, not for your kids. Well, I mean, do it for your kids because your kids will, uh, they will mimic what you do, but you got to do it for yourself because you're the only person who can make any change in your life. It's you. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that's it for this video. Um, check out my video on metabolic damage if you'd like more information about that process. Um, it does exist. I did go through it and I have metabolically restored myself now. I've lost over 30 pounds um, from initially gaining 60. I'm at a healthy lean body weight right now. I'm also over, I'm 21 weeks pregnant today. Um, and my weight was all the way down to about 150. Again, I'm 5'11", and that was like a BMI of 21 after being at a BMI of like 25 for about a year and a half. So um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below in the comments. Um, check out uh, the uh, links that I'll leave in the description. My metabolic damage video will be there. Um, and anything else that anybody else requests. Thank you so much for watching this video. And remember, 
you have the power to change and get healthy, but you got to leave all the other conditioning behind. Uh, that's the way that I've found success on this lifestyle is through consistency and just focusing on what I needed to do in order to be healthy. So you got this. Uh, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.